Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. Well, good news. The wait is finally over. We have Android 12 here. And before I proceed video, I just want to thank Mr. Srinath for um, releasing this particular ROM. Um, the ROM name is Arrow. And we have a glimpse of, uh, I mean, it is in the beta phase. And we have a stable release, not a stable release, but a beta release for our device Redmi Note 5 wins. Now, um, let's have a look. I mean, I have, uh, or I did a video previously on the Android 12. Um, it was a GSI at that time and uh, I couldn't boot it properly, even though I was able to show you guys how the UI looked like. Now, let us start by the quick settings. Let's uh, scroll, uh, I mean, uh, let's give it down. I mean, let's uh, scroll it down. So this is how the UI for Quick settings looks like. Nothing really different. And let's try connecting our, uh, our uh, phone to the internet. So can it detect Wi-Fi? Let's have a look. Yeah, it can. So yes, I will connect it uh, later and I will show it to you guys. Now there is nothing uh, much being done to the uh, user interface from the last video I did. So it looks similar. I mean, you can check out the video uh, in the description or in the card up above. Well, the UI is pretty much uh, pretty much good and um, yeah, it's different. And we we even got similar UI to Android 12 from Dot OS and Octavi. I mean, it is yeah fairly. It looks similar, but not not completely likewise the battery we have a bar over here which i have even showed to you so let's take by option by option okay this is how network and internet looks like it looks good and sims we have i have airtel in my mobile phone airtel as my preferred sim in my mobile phone and this bloody airtel doesn't have coverage area in my area so that's a bit uh, a bit crazy thing what is this calls and sms i don't know yeah uh, maybe this is where you are setting which sim you want to prefer and stuff like that. So yeah, connected devices. This is how the connected devices UI looks like. I'll just give you a short uh, tour of how these things are looking like. So let's have a look how uh, this thing looks like. So it looks similar to what we have in Android 11. And let's have a look at the options. Yeah unused apps remove permissions and free up space this is something uh, new in uh, android 12 i don't think that i have seen such a uh, such an option in uh, in 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 android 10 or android uh, android 11 so that is something new notifications what do we have here no, not in notifications notifications on lock screen so yeah even this is something similar to what we had in uh, Android 10 and 11. Battery, uh, battery section, yeah. Uh, yeah, this battery percentage, it shows over here along with the, in the status bar along with the battery icon if you need the percentage to be displayed or not. Then storage, what do we have in storage? Oh wow. Well, basically, yeah, it's uh, similar to Android 11. Nothing, um, nothing really new in that kind of stuff yeah so this is how the sound page is looking like pretty much good yeah display okay fine so yeah that's great colors what do we have in colors i guess this is where they are going to add live display i don't think that it is being added over here so night light is it working let's have a look yeah it works so that's great night light is working tap to wake yeah some uh, well Commonly, adaptive brightness, let's turn it off, I don't like it. Commonly, it looks similar to Android 10. Wallpaper and style, what do we have over here? I think here, no, nothing. Only I can change the wallpaper for the uh, lock screen and stuff like that. So it doesn't give me um, much freedom of doing other stuff. Screen lock, let's have a look how to set screen lock. Yeah. So yeah, uh, fingerprint is also available normally since the device supports it. Privacy options, privacy dashboard, let's have a look. Okay, fine. So this is something 
yeah even though we had uh, um, we had it uh, in older versions but the user interface they have actually um, uh, modified it i mean they gave a fresh look or they have defined defined a fresh look for the um, for the user interface oh earthquake alert so this is something new and how does it work i don't know even they don't even give a description about it passwords and accounts system what do we have over here yeah normal stuff developer options let's have a look mm, nice memory usage i don't have any other apps being loaded onto the uh, device system navigation only three button and gesture navigation are available as of now maybe they will add more how does the device page looks like wow android 12 version uh, kernel we have yeah pretty much to sum it up all well um it looks awesome it is good and um, the thing is um the user interface is new i mean they have uh, uh, renovated the entire user interface and uh, it looks great so it's fine and it's giving nice experience also so even the um, the the quick settings you can see it is being improved out there they have given a massive improvement in the quick settings too and we can edit what all things we want to see so these are uh, things that are available for available in the quick settings so that is great actually and even a power button is being given i mean normally in android phones in some phones we have complained with the uh, manual power button so uh, this is great i mean even my phone sometimes acts crazy uh, with the power button so this is some kind of uh, some kind of good thing that they have done good planning what we have yeah settings yeah this is this this was already in the uh, in the android uh, versions in all the android versions we have a beautiful privacy indicator over here this green stuff uh, it looks awesome and the brightness <laughs> the brightness slider it looks really funny and yeah that is really um, nice to see and what do we have over here yeah we have the phone app yeah regular asp asp dialer we have and messages also yeah it's normal thing so this is how android uh, android 12 looks like in uh, in in uh, in real life but it's great i hope that soon we will have stable version and uh, it will be great to see finally i would like to thank uh, srinath and the entire team who has worked with him for blessing us with wonderful rom thank you very much for watching let's talk by george